Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. This video is going to be a what I um, burned and melted for last week. What was last week? The first week of April, I think. First full week of April. Anyway, doesn't matter. You're only here for the smell goods. All right, we'll start off with candles. I don't have like a bunch here because I did empty a good amount of stuff. Also, sorry for the weird lighting. I'm doing this standing at my kitchen island. <laughs> Um, Soft Linen Breeze from Goose Creek. This is a two wick large jar. You guys already know. You already know. It's not discolored, which is good, but the soot. Oh my God, the soot. And I trim these wicks. I have, you can see some wick there. I'm going to trim it down to little nubbies and it still just soots. So I keep these in my kitchen underneath the like hood over there and hopefully catch some soot. But yeah, I mean, it's a good scent. It's just linen like a soft cotton kind of scent, but I just, I can't deal with the scent. I just cannot do them. So the large jars, yeah, it's just too much for me. I'm also burning another dirty one from, this doesn't look nearly as bad, there you go. That's how bad it is in real life. Yankee Candles Blue Summer Sky, classic one wick. But the wick on this, you guys, is insane. It is so strange. I've had a couple of Yankees and this one's from 2019, so, I had a couple of Yankees that did this weird thing with the wicks. Like it was truly a braided wick, like, you know, like a normal braid. And then as soon as you start to light it, they start to like untwist themselves. And then you just get these huge, huge flames, no matter how much you try and keep it together. And that's what happened. I didn't realize it. This soot happened on the first burn. I didn't realize it. Cause you know, these, the Yankees are typically set it and forget it. You put it in, you just put it wherever you're burning it and you let it go. I put an alumalit on it so that it can pull out. And even then it's having some like residue gunk issues. Anyway, you typically set it and forget it. But when I came back to this, I was like, oh, and it's in the living room. I was in the same room and it was in a lantern on the floor and it still stood like crazy. Cause I just, I didn't even think to check on it. Cause I'm like, it's a Yankee. It's, it's good for at least eight hours. And at that eight hour mark, it was like crazy. So this one I keep a very close eye on now, but that's what did happen. In the bathroom, I'm burning mahogany teak wood from Bath and Body Works. I've only burned it once. It's got a big old mushroom top. I'm going to trim off. It's a great manly scent. Cologne, strong, love. <laughs> um, and then I have two of these guys going in the living and dining room. It's Wildberry Jam Donut from Bath and Body Works. Set notes are sweet wildberry jam, powdered donut, brown sugared crumble. I love this matte pink packaging. It's so pretty with the holographic. Mm, love. These are good. These are burning well. They burn a little hot, but that's okay. It's been, I've only burned it, you know, down to here, but it's, it's been okay. They burn again, like I said, a little, little toasty, but otherwise good scent, good throw. I don't love this as much as everybody else does, but that's okay. We're going to, I had two of them thinking I was going to like save it and burn it in my bedroom or something, but I was like, nah, let's just get it out of here. Okay, a Homeworks this is the last candle. Sunday morning cereal. It's crushed cereal, wild cherry, ripe strawberry, sweetened milk. You guys, I'm so over this. <laughs> it's just not my type of scent. It's not cereal enough for me. It's very like, like almost lemongrassy, but mixed with like weird strawberry. It's been burning just fine. I mean, seriously, great burn. Look at those wicks so centered they've been burning big i trim those off and they it's just doing perfect a little discoloration but it's going to be super hard to tell but it is it was pink now it's gray but other than that it's fine it burned great scent just not my type of scent so happy i only have one of these and this is taking forever to burn <laughs> and i don't know if it's because i don't like it or if it's just taking forever to burn because i'm like okay okay we're almost done. Nope, still got plenty of burn. Okay, we're almost done. Nope, nope, still burning. So today, hopefully, I will be able to finish this. If not, I'm just going to blow it out and be finished. Because it's down to, like, here. It's down to, like, here. I mean, it's basically done anyway. I just need it to put itself out. Thank you. Okay, on to wax. Just a couple of things. I have pink sugar sugar cookie white cake from L3. There's literally two measly pieces in there, but it's a loaf. I'm gonna finish a loaf. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, finishing a loaf is just such an accomplishment. 
I don't like this because of the sugar cookie. It has a very weird maple undertone. I think Nicole Perry has talked about it. Danny has talked about it. We all kind of agree that the sugar cookie, not good. Sugar cookie royale, good. Sugar cookie dough, good. Plain sugar cookie, not good. So we're finishing that. Oh, diet starts Monday. Swoon. Sam's on keto, sugar shortbread, sugar cookie royale, cotton candy frosting. I've always burned this in my bedroom or melted this in my bedroom. For some reason, I thought, let's put it in the kitchen in a tea light warmer. Y'all, I don't need, I just turned Southern. That's how, like, that's how good this is. It was so phenomenal in the kitchen. Oh, I love it in my bedroom. I love it in the kitchen. But in the kitchen in the tea light warmer, it was just even stronger. And I was like, oh, yum. It's just the best, the best bakery cotton candy frosting scent. It is just Mm, so good absolutely divine divine rose girls i did grandma got run over by a chain chomp blackberry jam cookies cotton candy waffle cone i don't like this nearly as much as i like her just plain blackberry jam butter cookies i feel like the other notes in here kind of tone it down and take away from that yummy blackberry jam so i like this i'll finish it but yeah her blackberry jam is so good so when I repurchase, I'm just going to do her blackberry jam butter cookies because for me, I don't need those extra things. I just like her plain blackberry jam butter cookies so much. I don't need extras. So I do love it though. And also from Rose Girls is one of the good ones. Seal, coriander, moss, bergamot, sandalwood, and kale. This was awesome. I put this in my... Actually, I finished a bag of this and then I, I put... Uh, extra piece from this bag in so I have an empty bag of this and it's just phenomenal the coastal kale is like mm, so good but then it just mixes so nicely with like those slightly manly notes this is not too cologne -y. the coastal kale is the strongest to my nose because I love that scent I just seek it out wherever it is but this playing with the bergamot and the moss it's just phenomenal not too heavy, not too cologne -y. It's just mm, good. From L3, lemon curd whipped cream adipose. Love. This is her fluted tarts. I just think that her lemon curd is so yummy. And if it's mixed with anything, I like it. So this was phenomenal in the kitchen. Adored it. Teddy Bee's pretty sweet. Pink sugar, blackberries, marshmallow, and magnolias. Um, It's okay. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Girl, get it together. You just fell. Guys, sorry. Anyway, now that now it's very different and it's also shaking and it's crooked. Great. Love that for me. Anyway, we're almost done. We'll just quick, quick, quick. Um, I don't love this as much as just like a normal blackberry. It's okay. It reminds me of what is that scent that has blackberry in it from like, is it a Victoria's Secret tube or something? I forget. I don't remember, but I like blackberry jam butter cookies. <laughs> So this is just a little perfumey, a smidge perfumey for me. So we're finishing it and that'll be done. And the last thing I have is I, do I have wax on my shirt? Oh my gosh. I heart vanilla, creamy vanilla marshmallow, vanilla milkshake, and boardwalk marshmallow clouds. Um, it was okay. Just okay. Her other, what the heck is that vanilla one that she has that I love that smells like, like oily buttercream? I like that one just way much, way much. I like that one way more. This is just okay to me. It's just that that uh, that other vanilla is more my speed. This is like light, kind of pretty. The vanilla milkshake gives it kind of a cool tone. Yeah, I just like the vanilla. I can't remember what it's called. <sighs> I don't know. Me and Angela really love it. It's like I I don't know. But anyway, I don't think I would repurchase this. I would just repurchase the other vanilla buttercream scent that I have, that I love, and that's that. So that is it. That is everything that I burned and I melted this week. Sorry for dropping you. Sorry for the weird lighting. We're just, we have a little bit of a cold over here and <laughs> <coughs> we're just trying to survive. Okay. Not thriving, surviving. Anyway, let me know down below what you guys burned and melted this week. I would love to chat with you. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.